in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed there is a cloud that is gathering again. God is moving in a way, perhaps not exact, but a way similar to what he has done before. Maybe before some of us were born, but he's coming again. And we are seeing the formation of that prophetic cloud gathering from region to region, gathering from nation to nation, gathering from continent to continent, Perhaps could it be the formation for the last move of God before Jesus returns? I doubt that there will be many, many other moves. The signs are already showing that we are wrapping up. It is true. But we are seeing a heavy cloud that is forming. And this cloud is going to pour out rain. That rain is not going to be little that rain will last hallelujah it is true this is not a cloud that is just forming just no 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 this one is beyond the fist of a man's hand it is a very mighty thick cloud the spirit of god himself is gathering that cloud is a mighty rain of revival is a mighty rain of outpouring is a mighty reign of awakenings. It is the reenacting of Ezekiel 37 again. And I have seen this many times in my visions. In 2005, the Lord opened my eyes and I saw the continent of Asia. I saw fire just like a single candlestick. And I saw many Chinese young people and it came upon one, just one person and it began to spread, began to spread, began to spread. You see, I have seen the same formation in Africa because this is a continent that will present Christ to the world before Jesus returns. It is in prophecy. It is true. And if you are here gathered tonight, let me tell you, it is because there is something within your spirit. Tonight, deep is about to call unto deep. Deep is about to call unto deep. Deep is about to call unto deep. Doesn't matter whether you are a male or female. Doesn't matter whether you are young or old. It is a prophetic formation over something mighty that God is doing. And we are glad that we will be witnessing this in our lifetime the fathers in the next 10 to 20 years the truth is that for the fathers the cloud is already shifting they are already seeing the signs there are chariots ready to come and pick them it will not be immediate but it will not be very long there is a baton in the spirit a transference genuine authentic graces and mantles over the next decade hear me i'm saying this by the spirit of prophecy that over the next 10 years there will be a prophetic transition within the body of christ there are many others have gone still within the decade men like reinhard bonke men like tl osborne pat robinson left this year Maurice Sorulo they have gone our fathers in Nigeria are still here because of their covenant of long life they will still be here for a while but it will not be for too long they know it we know it 
so there is a transition in the spirit and Elijah told Elisha if you can see me if you can see me if you will not lose focus and see me but you see it is not only a handing over of mantles that will be happening there are other mantles that could not be handed over because there were no faithful vessels to carry it and when the carriers were old all those who were in front of them were in the order of Gehazi and Judas so they could not hand over the mantle and many of them died with the mantles but you see mantles don't go back to heaven no that means they are somewhere being preserved by the spirit of grace waiting for vessels that will become fit and dexterous listen you will see mantles that we have not seen in the body of Christ maybe for the last hundred years I pray we have the grace to receive them you will see people walk in mantles that the last person who walked in it was written in the Bible and you are wondering where did this grace come from this blend of spiritual formation where is this one coming from I have seen this and it will happen Oh, Like you to pray one prayer whilst you are seated father i am available available to be the esther of my generation available to be the gideon available to be the roof the naomi available to be the elijah shadeka salaka Go ahead and pray. You're not wasting your time. This is a prophetic and an apostolic ministry. Respond to the staring in the spirit. Respond to the staring in the spirit. Staring in the spirit, don't waste it. Take a few minutes to pray in the spirit. 
We see the cloud, we see the cloud, we see the cloud, we see the cloud, a mighty formation in the spirit. This is Koinonia. Ale para sobre de belengo ta sabra gadiba latusiata. The spirit man is getting enlarged. In Jesus' name we pray. There is a professional creativity and intelligence of people that is making this word to go to the globe. One prayer. Lord, in whatever capacity you desire to use me, I am ready and I am available. Go ahead and pray. Please go ahead and pray. Take it seriously. No moving around. Please pray. Everyone pray. Zaria, make sure you are praying. Go ahead and pray. Sali barato In whatever capacity someone is praying. Is Esther praying? Is Elijah praying? Is Abraham praying? Is Gideon praying? Naomi, are you praying? Ruth, are you praying? Mary, are you praying? Preparing to birth Jesus. Elizabeth, are you praying? John the Baptist, are you praying? Apostle Paul, are you praying? Everybody has a role to play. The mother at home has a role to play. The banker has a role to play. The kingdom billionaire has a role to play. The politician has a role to play. The chef, the caterer has a role to play. The technical person has a role to play. The leadership consultant has a role to play. The judiciary have a role to play. The sports people have a role to play. Pray everyone. Father, find a worthy vessel in me. I am a vessel that is available. I will not be careless. I will not be godless. Someone is praying. Regardless my background, Find a precious vessel in me. I submit myself to learn. I submit myself to honor fathers. I submit myself to learn from mentors, from colleagues, from contemporaries. Whatever you want to do, Lord, you can do through Whatever you want to say, Lord, you can say through me. Whoever you want to lift, Lord, you can lift through me. Go ahead and pray.
Hallelujah. Now hear me. Hear me. I've shared with you here, there are many of you, you are gifted, but you are with the wrong audience. You have not yet gotten to the environment that has the discernment to honor you. Joseph interpreted three people's dreams. He interpreted the dream of the wine presser. He remained in prison. They didn't have the wherewithal to help him. He interpreted the dream of the baker. He remained there. But when the king dreamt, the same gift though, the gift did not improve. It was only the audience that changed. There are some of you, you have been interpreting dreams well done, but you have exhausted that training. It's time for God to announce you. And God does not necessarily need to upgrade the gift. He just needs to bring the people who have capacity to discern what you carry and reward you. And I pray for you already. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the grace that lifts, may the grace that announces, let it rest upon you now. Let it rest upon you now. Let it rest upon you now. Listen, announcement is a spiritual thing. Media can only help. Believe me, if that grace has not rested, you will shout around and nobody will hear you. He said, he that has an ear, let him hear. That means not everybody has that kind of ear. You can be shouting and say, I am here. I studied this. I can do this. But the realm of the spirit says, we cannot hear you. And that is where the control room is. I have a great ministry. I can heal. Listen to me. I have a, I can, my family is a great family. But the realm of the spirit is not hearing. There is a hear ye him anointing. A grace that rests upon you. And even the deaf will know you are there. Can I speak it over someone? In the name of Jesus. Whatever has silenced your influence. So that your voice will not be heard. I call upon the God of my covenant. May you be heard from today. May you be heard from today. Let the ends of the earth hear you. Let the ends of the earth hear you. my assignment tonight is to threaten that which keeps you down that has vowed that your voice will not be heard john said i am the voice of one crying he was heard when jesus came he was heard one of the things they tried to do to the early apostles was to shut their voice so that they will not it's not only men businesses have voices ministries have voices you can be active and sincere but if that sound in the spirit is not heard your relevance will also die with you i say it again the spirit that is shutting your voice i came by the rod of a higher priesthood in the name of jesus that silence comes to an end hallelujah gifted but nobody's seen you genuinely called but it looks like you are just going around rigmaroling kamarash kabarakatos yata Grand table like scopata, shata pakata katos, skate pakata, rekete bekete balat sopas, granta pakatos, embrekete berekos katiataka, leskaba shamas kabedesh, embrata bereka parias kata. Can I tell you this? Believe me, when that grace is on you. It doesn't matter even if you are in a hole the nations will look for you there it is true oh rest on me oh rest on me oh rest on me the Holy Ghost power Rest on me, let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me, rest on me, let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me, let your 
your spirit, spirit of wisdom. Rest on me, rest on me. Let your spirit, spirit of wisdom. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Now hear me please. There are some serious prayers that we want to pray now. And whilst we pray, I'm already seeing visions of fire. When the Holy Spirit reveals himself as fire, he does not just come as a refiner. He also comes to burn everything. Everything in life is heat dependent. There is no material known to man that can survive certain levels of heat. Hallelujah. Now hear me. I taught you that there are five spiritual atmospheres and every time God introduces any of them, you must be discerning because it's time to receive. The atmosphere of prayer engenders reception. The atmosphere of worship engenders reception the atmosphere of the prophetic engenders reception you must be sensitive i want us to pray are you ready to pray this is the ministration no? as i pray who is josiah josiah i'm hearing the name josiah josiah haraskoli kabandi grahaf kazimalakosi apash Josiah, I'm hearing the name Josiah. Every altar that has brought families down, every altar that will not allow men and families to rise by the power of the Holy Spirit, I'm hearing Josiah. In the name of Jesus Christ, I curse those atmospheres now. I curse those atmospheres now. I'm hearing the name Olua Kemi. Olua Kemi. This is a Yoruba name. Olua Kemi. This is what I'm hearing. Olua Kemi. We are going to pray. But salvation has come to this person and this family. Olua Kemi. Who is that place? Oluwa Kemi, this is what I'm hearing in my spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, shame and reproach. Shame and reproach. I'm hearing the name Bridget. 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 Is there someone with such a name? Bridget, run here. Bridget, salvation has come to your family. Oh, oh, oh. rest on me. Oh, oh, oh. rest on me. Oh, 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 rest on me, spirit of wisdom. Who is Bridget? Bridget, where are you from? I'm going to pray for you. Shalis Kabrandi Gabariata. We're going to pray. Bridget, I'm praying for you, but the person who is shouting now is in the crowd. Bring the person out. The power of God, just this direction. I'm seeing fire resting on someone. Please bring the person out now in the name of Jesus Christ please bring the person out now I want to pray for you I'd like you to be sensitive we are going to pray Bridget I'm hearing the name Bridget you have a daughter her name is Joy you have a daughter the name of the daughter is Joy I'm not saying the daughter. It's not the daughter I'm calling. It's a woman who has a daughter whose name is Joy. Please, where are you? I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, let me pray for those in front here. I'm seeing attacks on two of you. We're going to pray. But I'm seeing strange attacks. I curse those spirits. Right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Out of them now. In the name of Jesus. Out of them now. Oh, oh, oh. Rest on me, 
I'm still seeing these attacks. Every attack on any family represented here by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Right now, I decree and declare by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic, be delivered this moment. 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 You have been seeing the spirit of death on your husband. This is what God is revealing to me. The spirit of death. You have seen it in dreams. And this is targeted towards your husband. God wants me to pray for you before we get into prayer now. I decree and declare. I don't know who that woman is. The spirit of death. And this is targeted over your husband. That your husband will die and leave you and with your children and you go through all kinds of pain and this thing wants to come as cancer this is what i'm seeing in the name that is above all names and by the power that raised christ from the dead i command that spirit of death masquerading as infirmity it dies now it dies now it dies now Hallelujah. One, two, three, four, five. Five people will shout now under the anointing. Please, I want you to bring them out. I know there are people shouting, but this is, I saw the number five. Bring them out. Tonight, God is giving you a change of story. Please bring them out. There is a reason why I ask them to come out. Your sister is a commissioner. Your sister is a commissioner. This is what your sister is a commissioner. Is there someone like that? Commissioner meaning those who aid governments. Um, commissioner, I don't know whether commissioner of what. But I'm hearing commissioner. Your sister is a commissioner. Is there someone like that? I want to pray for you very quickly. Please, if I mention your case. Just hurry up so you don't waste our time. We are going to pray. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I'm praying right now for that person because I'm seeing something that looks like it's a spiritual thing, but it looks like someone eats and then they begin to have a bloating stomach and that's how they just pass on. In the name that is above all names, anyone digging a pit for you, after the order of her man, may they fall into their same pit. I say it again, anyone digging a pit for your destruction, they fall into that pit. They fall into that pit. They fall into that pit in the name of Jesus. For all of you who are in front here, I stretch my hands towards you. In the name of Jesus Christ, everything that is inconsistent with God's intent for your life and destiny, I stretch my hands towards you now and I declare be delivered forever be delivered forever please return back to your seat we are going to pray fire is falling here now when it's time to pray in this prayer you are receiving with all your heart are you ready to pray Psalm 3 and verse 1 3 and verse 1 give my people the mic so that we'll pray 3 and verse 1 it says oh Lord how are they increased that trouble me Many a day that rise up against me. Psalm 71 and verse 21. We are praying. Someone's destiny is about to change. Read with me. One to read. Thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me. How many sides? How many sides? Joshua chapter 3 and verse 7. Joshua 3 and verse 7. Read with me. And the Lord said unto Joshua, This day... I will begin to magnify thee in the sight of all Israel that they may know that as I was with Moses so I will be with you are you ready to pray shout this from the depth of your heart father, father. for your glory for your glory increase my greatness go ahead and pray Increase my greatness for your glory. Father, for your glory, increase my greatness. Take away smallness from my destiny. Increase my greatness. 
Someone pray. Tired of where you are, pray. Tired of where you are, pray. Tired of where you are, pray. Father, for your glory, increase my greatness. For your glory, increase my greatness. For your glory, increase my greatness. Greatness is your heritage. Are you praying? Sapakata barakatos, rateka barakatas, rata bata kapas kata branda gatesh, rates kata barakata barakos. Increase my greatness. Increase my greatness. Increase the greatness of my family for your glory. Thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. My greatness take away smallness from my destiny. Paro Shabalakata Bakata Rakata Barakata Fraskatesh Rapato Sobregata Belegata. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. My God, something is happening to your spirit, man. I tell you, there is an elevation in the spirit, an elevation. I'm seeing a ladder. This is what I'm seeing. An elevation. You will suddenly go and see that things are changing. Changing in your life. Hmm. Prayer point number two. Take it down for me. For the last one month, this prayer point has not left my spirit. Restore everything that was lost. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore everything that was lost. Restore. You will restore. Restore everything that was lost. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore everything that was lost. Restore, you will restore. Are you ready to pray? Joel chapter 2. Some of you have lost all kinds of things. Everything to be lost has left you. You have lost opportunities. You have lost relationships. You have lost joy. You have lost strategic resources. It's time to have it back. Joel 2.25 And I will restore to you the years. And I will restore to you the years. God can restore time. Did you hear what I said? God can restore time. I will restore to you the years if God cannot restore time then he is not greater than time if it is he is greater and higher than the realm of time then he must sustain the ability to restore time Jeremiah 30 and verse 17 please give it to us quickly we are praying someone's life is changing for I will restore health unto you those failing organs, those failing body parts. You are just 20, 30, and yet they are telling you that you are losing certain things. It's time to be angry. God does not just restore time. God restores health and vitality. Psalm 41, 1 to 3. Shabaka parakatos yata. Blessed is the man that considereth the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. Verse 2. 
the Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. He says, and he shall be blessed upon the earth. He says, thou will not deliver him to the will of his enemies. Shout verse 3 together. The Lord will strengthen him in the bed of languishing and I will make all his bed in sickness. God will not allow him to die, not allow him to deplete and famish. First Peter 5 and verse 10. I like this one. God is restoring. But the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory, he says, after that ye have suffered a while, what does he do? Make you perfect. Establish you. Strengthen you. And then settle you. Say it again. Make you perfect. Establish you. Strengthen you. And then settle you. Say, Father. I decree. I declare. Divine restoration. Of opportunities. Of relationships. Of resources of men of my joy now open your mouth and pray restoration 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 Restoration. 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 Restore joy. Restore years. Restore things. Restore men. Restore resources. Shabaka Paros, Rakata Braskata Vaskabash, Ratakata Braskata Palakos, Rakata Prantakapach, Ebrakatos Koto Prekatele. Cry restoration. Cry restoration. Cry restoration. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Job chapter 42 and verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. And the Lord gave Job how many? How many? As much as he had before. The Lord turned his captivity, but he did not stop there. God restored by giving twice. Are you ready for the third prayer point? We have five in total, but we'll pray three now. And then I'll begin to minister deliverance. This is one miracle service you will not forget in a hurry. Are you ready? Prayer point number three. Genesis 21 and verse 1. It's one thing for God to speak, but it's another thing for his word to manifest speedily. Speedily. Listen. God's word can be sent, but it must arrive speedily. In the parable of the ten virgins, God himself was standing in the place of the bridegroom. It was the delay of the arrival of the bridegroom that made the oil of other virgins to finish. If the bridegroom came on time, all ten of them, they were virgins. Are we together now? It was the delay of the arrival of the bridegroom that made five to suffer loss. So when it does not arrive on time, your resources can pay for it. He says, satisfy me early with your mercy. Genesis 21 and verse 1. The Bible says, And the Lord visited Sarah, as he has said. And the Lord spoke unto Sarah. Now watch this. You would think it just happened the next day. Look at how the Bible summarizes it. But let me break this scripture down for you. 
the Lord visited Sarah as he has said and the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken. This is a spiritual reality. But the manifestation of this took 25 years before it arrived. Don't you think he just said it and it happened the next day? You see, the way God talks and the way he behaves, he expects his word to have come speedily. Whatever happened in the realm of the spirit that prolonged that situation, Jesus looked at the man in John chapter 5 and said, why are you still in this condition? And he said, I have no man. And it made his tragedy become 38 years. The woman who was bent for 18 years, another had hemorrhage for 12 years. Why does the Bible attach numbers to these tragedies? The Bible would have just said a certain man was sick. Abraham and Sarah were barren, trusting God. The man at gate, he had been there a long time. But the Bible is so meticulous, it attaches numbers. Notice when Jesus came, he did not honor the longevity of their pain. He made them know that for all of them, a possibility existed to have received the miracle earlier. Are you ready to pray? Let me give you one more scripture. This one we are going to pray. Because there are some of you, you can't wait again till December. No. The Bible said, this is the day. Not this is the week. Not this is the month. There are days, there are weeks, there are months, there are years. Whichever one your faith defines is what becomes your reality. If your faith is for years, save Johnny. If your faith is for months, save Johnny. He said, give us this day. Give us when? One more time. So God can give men this day. There are times they will say, after five months, on the sixth month of the seventh year, the word of the Lord came. But Jesus himself said, when you pray, remind the Father that it's within his power to give you this day. Give me this, this day. Give me liftings this day. Open a door for me this day. Are you ready to pray? Joshua chapter 21 and verse 45. Give us amplified. We are still praying. Don't give up on God. Because he won't give up on you. He saved us. I'm charging your faith as we get into this place of prayer. I know him. My God is able to do just what He says He will do. He's got a fulfilled every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause He won't give up on you. He never. John Joshua 21. 45. Read with me. Ready? One to read. There failed no part of any good thing which the Lord had promised to the house of Israel. All came to pass. How many? How many? Are you ready to pray? Say, Father, I declare a speedy manifestation of every prophetic word that is upon my life. Open your mouth and cry. I declare speedy manifestations of every prophetic word. I declare, someone pray. I declare a speedy manifestation of every prophetic word. Speedy manifestation 
speedy manifestation. You have spoken. Let it come to pass. Today, you have spoken. Let it come to pass. Now, you have spoken. Let it come to pass. Now, you have spoken. Let it come to pass. Now. Let it come to pass now. Let it come to pass now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. My God, I'm tempted to give you the next one. Just endure. Let me give you the next one. Huh? Are you ready for the next one? John 14, 11. I have to give you the next one. This is why you came. He said, believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. And if that revelation is what cannot make you believe, he said, believe me for the sake of the results. Believe me for the work's sake. Results can make men believe God and believe you. Did you hear what I said? Results can make men believe God and believe you. We read John 15, 8 earlier on. Herein is my Father glorified when ye bear much fruit. Not just fruit, much fruit. Great results. John 15, 16. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. Hallelujah ordained you to go and bear fruit 15 16 and that your fruit should remain let me tell you the truth do not downplay results in this life i know that you are here because you love jesus but you are also here because you have seen results results are the end of any and every argument you can argue all you can but not in the presence of results hallelujah what is a prayer father give evidence to my christian experience did you hear what i said give evidence i'm tired of running around telling people i'm a christian i'm tired of telling people i love you without proof i'm tired of telling people i'm serving you without proof i'm tired of telling people that i'm living for you father give evidence to my christian experience Give evidence to my loving you. Give evidence to my serving you. Give evidence to my trusting you. Are you ready? Say, Father, in this season, give evidence to my Christian experience. Results, genuine results. Open your mouth and pray. Bring me into a realm of authentic results. Give evidence. Give evidence. Are you praying? All the overflows, pray. Give evidence to my serving you. Give evidence to my loving you. Give evidence to my live, my living for you. Pray, pray. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. One more time. My deliverer is 
In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Do you know why we minister deliverance to people? I don't have the time, but perhaps next week I will teach you something very powerful. You see, the major challenge with believers in the body of Christ is we do not know that for results to happen in the earth, please listen. There are three things, three conditions that need to be satisfied. Number one is called the finished work of Christ. That reality has been settled in Christ. Number two is the effective appropriation of that which is finished in Christ. Engaging it through faith. Are we together? And then number three, the results manifest. The major challenge with believers is that we think just because realities are finished in Christ, it automatically means the earth eternally has an instruction to give crops and yet there is still hunger on earth. Why? Because that prophetic word, there has to be an appropriation system. The name of the appropriation system is sowing. Every time you sow, you are partnering with prophecy. It is prophetic instruction to the earth plus the farmer's responsibility that is equal harvest. Am I right on that? You, even in a desert, the land was still instructed to produce under a certain kind of condition. That is why in Israel, a desert land, they have food for the next 15 years in a desert land. So, you read in scriptures, by his stripes I am healed. That is a prophetic reality from God's standpoint. You read from scripture, no inhabitant in Zion shall say, I am sick. The Bible would teach us that we have been called out of every tribe and tongue and nation. These things are not a lie. They are realities as finished in Christ. But you must understand the appropriation system of the spirit. That means the system of converting prophecy to make it manifest. The Bible says the word became flesh. The word became flesh. The healing word became flesh. The prospering word became flesh. The lifting word became flesh. Then it dwelt among men. It is only when it became flesh that it dwelt among men and we beheld his glory. We couldn't see the glory when it was in the realm of the spirit. The Bible says from the foundations of the earth, the lamb was already slain. But that reality could not save any man. People still died and went to Hades. Until Jesus came in reality and partnered with prophecy. He says, lo, I come as it is written in the volume of the book. Are we together? When he partnered with prophecy and actually died, like the prophet said he would die, it was that experience in partnership with prophecy that produced redemption. So when we minister deliverance and you see people who came believing in God, manifesting and God is releasing people, it is not negating what Christ has done. It is en engaging the appropriation system. The reason why the demons will leave is because victory has been wrought already in Christ. I have taught you that the concept of deliverance and warfare for the believer is not engaging to see who wins. It's enforcing the victory that is finished already, but making it manifest here and now. The fact that believers still get sick should tell you that it is possible for an individual to still be under an influence of demons. Because the same package is what delivered everything. It delivered victory over sin, victory over sickness, victory over Satan, victory over the grave, victory over a defeated life. They all came in one package. The fact that believers can still be poor and yet you are not ashamed. You will teach you principles and you will rise. A believer can be sick and it can be ministered to supernaturally or medically. You should not be surprised that a believer may not be possessed but can be greatly influenced by spirits. And I've taught you here that there are three conditions by which spirits engage the saints. One is called disobedience. Two is called ignorance. Three is called covenants. 
and covenants are transgenerational in their approach. That means you don't have to be there and agree when it was enacted, but you will still be a victim. Who sinned that this man was born blind? Him or his father? This is Jesus' student asking him a question. Today in Israel, because they are the physical descent of Abraham, there are many of them that do not acknowledge Jesus as Messiah, yet they still prosper because he said, in, thy, in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. And they came out as a physical descent of Abraham. Yet in their rebellion, they would look at God and curse him to his face. Yet because he cannot act against his word, they remain a people blessed and blessed forever. These are rules of engagement you need to understand. So don't sit down saying, I, I, I don't believe, I can't. You are seeing the result, evidences of satanic manipulations. It is not negating your Christian experience. You are partnering with prophecy to establish it so that once and for all there is victory. When victory manifests, everything will show that you are a winner. Medicine will show you are a winner. Your bank account will show you are a winner. Are we together now? I want to pray for you. For as long as I live, I become by the grace of God an agent of appropriating that which is finished in Christ. That for the sake of one person here who has been oppressed by spirits. Can I tell you this? In this walk you see, by the privilege of God's grace, I have seen all kinds of oppressions in the life of people. I can tell you firsthand, many of you here, ladies and gentlemen, you are standing here not just for yourself, but you are standing for your families. I've seen people who left and went abroad, but because they did not settle these things with understanding and engaging by faith, they remain like beggars abroad. They would give them a job and mysteriously the person would say, I don't like you. You would think it's just some racist thing, but even if you come back home, it's still the same thing. How about families where women are the men and men are the women? You've seen those kinds of families? And they can be genuine Christians. But men in those families never feed their wives. They only marry to be beggars and remain beggars. You will see a woman paying school fees, building the house, doing everything. And the man is there. He will sincerely carry his CV till his children become teenagers. He's not gotten one job after graduation. I told you even Satan is not everybody that hates him. Hallelujah. There are people who never hold money and it stays in their hand. There is a spirit and a curse upon the works of their hands. Give them one billion, they will be smiling. Ask them after one year, where did it go to? They will say something happened. I borrowed this one, he ran away. This one happened and all of that. Come on now. There are people who don't experience delay but they experience what we call um, their pace with respect to time is too slow they build one house in 10 years they use 10 years to finish school are we together now 10 years to finish school the child goes to school and he will repeat one class five times even though it's an intelligent it's a cause it's a cause a cause from the pit of hell I tell you there are people who build but never eat. Just when they're about to eat, they die or something happens to them. I have seen it many times. That includes pastors. They raise people. The moment the people are established and it's the time to bless them, something mysteriously happens and takes them out of their life. I've seen business people like that. There are people here who are part of the rising of many people, but till today they are still paupers and beggars. Spirits for you. Hallelujah. Do you believe what you're hearing? Yes. I've seen people like that. Beautiful lady, wonderful lady, but the day a gentleman looks at you and says, I want to go and see your father. That gentleman will lose his job in one week, lose his sanity, lose every opportunity. And they'll just tell him, run away from this family. There's a spirit in this family. You see, this is what sometimes the prophetic ministry erroneously interprets. As men and women being witches and wizards. They may not be witches and wizards. But for sure, there are spiritual operations within those families that with intelligence, they need to be delivered from. Hallelujah. 
I know people as a man of God. I desire to bless them. I remember looking at them and said, I will bless them mysteriously in a way I cannot understand. I'm not that forgetful, but I forgot to bless them. Me, oh, a man of God. And the person is saying, what kind of spirit is this? What is pursuing you determines how you run. Hello? Hmm? It's not the same thing that is pursuing everybody. Oh. Others who, they've paid the price for you. Some, you are the first person to rise in your family. There is no mention of the word honor or dignity in your family. There's no such thing. Now, not to get you, please don't feel offended. But there are people in families who never marry until they get pregnant outside. That's the condition. For as long as you say, I want to get married first. No, that spirit will not let you be. I know people who spend 15 years abroad and return back to Nigeria and even the key to a car, they could not have. They called all their classmates and their classmates are now exalted. And they are not comparison. What is it that stops the glory of God from manifesting? How about families that always kill those who become the lifters in those families? Have you seen it happen? That just when someone just, I just got a job. I just got an opportunity. My stomach, my head, and the person is dead. I came angry tonight in my spirit. Because someone, I, by the privilege of God's grace, sir, I've had the honor of taking care of a lot of families. I have seen 25-year-old widows with four or five children. How long did the man live before dying? Absolutely nothing. And they leave those people 25, 28, 4, 5 children. Hallelujah. How about your destiny helpers forgetting you? You watch them on TV making pledges to people. And yet you say, Uncle, just to remind you that I'm still here. I say, okay, you, I will remember. Immediately, once it is your own, they forget. Are you ready for the book of remembrance to be opened? Just when they are dropping your CV on a man's table, someone will come and use your CV to wrap food with it. They are considering yours. They say, please pass me a piece of paper and it's your CV they carry and wrap food with it. And you sit down and you are shouting, thinking your CV is in the office, whereas it's in the bin somewhere. He said, the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Do you know why? He said, lest he dips his hand in iniquity. I've seen people who love God. They are not lazy, but they live their lives begging. They never get to a point where they can live a decent life. No. They beg. Their wives join them begging. Their children join them begging. Their grandchildren join them begging. Their entire lineage lives by begging. Shout no way. No way. One more time. Shout no way. Whatever you permit, whatever you tolerate remains in your life. I'm saying this because everything that is not of God, it must let you go. Now, there are, there are families where the parents and the elderly people remain, but the children die leaving the parents. You see a family full of old people with no young man to help them. He said, I write these things to you fathers. I write these things to you young men. I write these things to you children. This is what makes a complete generation. There must be elders. There must be young men. There must be children. No generation is safe without elders. No generation is safe without young men. No generation is safe without children. When Satan wants to suspend continuity, he looks for one of these three. If he kills the elders, the young men will become foolish young men because no counsel. When he kills the young men, there will be no continuity because the elders will pass on one day and the children will not have a way to be trained well. When he kills the children, you will now see the spirit that was in Pharaoh and he was negotiating the exodus of God's people. Let some go and let some stay. And Moses said, you are joking, all of us, our wives, our children. In this place tonight, there are elders. In this place tonight, there are young men. 
In this place tonight, there are children. In fact, in this place tonight, there are babies. Our commission tonight is everybody must be free. There is nobody that is too young to be free. And there is nobody that is too old to be delivered. In one minute, I'd like you to pray. Every first time down my destiny, you must let me go now. 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 In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Now very quickly, I'm about to minister the deliverance power of Jesus. In the next few minutes, we'll watch the wonder working power of Jesus. But just quickly, I'd like us to honor, he came in while I was teaching, I didn't want to interrupt the teaching. Reverend Edward, let's bless him, House on the Rock, Enugu. Thank you so much, sir. Hallelujah. And then, um, where is she? I, I forgot to introduce her, the wife of the um, German ambassador to Egypt. She here? God bless you. Let's give her a big God bless you. Thank you. So good to see you. Hallelujah. Amen. Please be silent, everybody. If you are sitting, stand. If you are sitting, stand. Prophetic instructions are powerful because contained within them, as foolish as they may sound, is the power of God. I want you to please stand. Ushers, I want you to start bringing out the people who the power of God rests upon and ministering deliverance now. What is deliverance? Separating you from the spirits that plague you. Separating you from the conditions also, not just spirits. Usually I will ask you to shout and you will shout. But God is telling me, be still and know. This is why I said just stand and keep quiet. Bring them out. You see, the way God works is very mysterious. Sometimes it may not make sense. Yes. There are individuals and families right now. It's the fire of the spirit fishing out families whose destinies have been tied down. Yokes, curses, altars. Please bring them out. No, you will not be able to stand it. You don't know what grace you are under. Please bring them as quick as you can. All the overflows outside. Hmm. These things happen so that you will fear God in a way that God is not a man. If God can say a thing like this and do it, then you will believe every prophetic word he brings on you. Please help the ushers if they are limited, anyone close to them. Let's just save time. There's a reason why I ask that you bring the people out. You're not shouting, you're not doing anything. You've done the prayer, now I'm praying for you. Mm. Yokes. Altars. I'm seeing fire like, like smoke rising. Rising from things that look like stones. The Lord is showing me a dark shadow. Shadow that has rested on families. Some for decades. And the Lord is saying this is the shadow that has covered the glory of many families. And the Lord is lifting it right now. He's lifting it right now. Bring them out. Lifting it right now. <laughs> lifting it right now. Please bring them. Now I'm seeing chains tying the feet of people. Feet means your movement. The Lord is taking away delay. I'm seeing delay. I'm seeing the number 25. Families, please bring them out. Delay, 
the spirit of delay that has tied down destinies. Bring them out. The Kasoni Aka. Abanayafi Kodia. Abanayafi Kodia. She is a bad. I want to pray very quickly. You are still bringing a few more people out now. I'm seeing something tied around the stomachs of people. And I'm wondering what is this is? What, what the meaning of this is? And the Spirit of God is telling me that this is enchantment. This is witchcraft over many. It came through dreams and it has tied down many. This thing started from your dream and then tied your destiny down from seeing yourself in secondary school to writing exams that never finish to things holding your destiny down right now be released be released bring them out be released be released by the power that raised christ from the dead by the power that raised christ from the dead by the power that raised christ from the dead now hear me, every family under any cause, cause of untimely death, cause of failure at the edge of breakthrough, now you are going to shout Jesus. With that one loud shout, those altars must give way now. Are you ready? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Be released. Be released. Be released. Be released, your family, be released, your business, be released, your destiny, be released, everything that concerns you. Hallelujah. What has buried the name of your family? The statement, Ichabod, that it cannot even be heard again. A family that was once great, known for greatness, but it looks like the devil has sat on your destiny. I'm talking to three people by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus right now, Barashkobataskadebata, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I declare, may that veil, may that veil be torn right now over your family. May that veil be torn right now. Over your family. May that veil be torn right now. Every month, you must treat sickness. Mysterious sicknesses. Eating up your finances. Eating up your energy, your vitality. I don't know who I'm speaking to. But by the power that raised Christ from the dead, that demonic authorization, over your body is cancelled now. Cancelled now. The Lord is showing me a woman. You've not been able to meet your husband abroad because they've denied you visa. I don't know if there's such a person. I've prayed for a number of people with those cases, but the Lord is speaking to me about one. You've not been able to go and meet your husband. You are legally married. But you are unable to go and meet your husband because you've been denied again and again and this has caused a lot of tension in your home wherever you are by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name that is above all names we consult the greatest consular general 
and we declare by the spirit of the living God that this time around may favor speak for you may favor speak for you may favor speak for you I'm seeing someone here your brother currently has been kidnapped your brother you are aware he's been kidnapped you are trusting God for his release I don't know if that person is in this place else I'm going to speak your brother this is what God shows me in a vision is part of those that were kidnapped until now he's not been released in the name of Jesus I use this vision as a point of contact to everyone who has been kidnapped by wicked men by the power that raised Christ from the dead this week not next week this week in the name that is above all names we declare their release now we declare their release now we declare their release now for everyone who is in front here brought by the Spirit of God I decree and declare every spirit that has held you down God brought you by himself right now be released right now be released I decree and declare that as you rise you step into a range a, a level of strange testimonies strange testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ amen return back to your seat rejoicing how many of you are trusting God for supernatural jobs just lift your hands and put it down let me see if you don't believe keep your hand down you are trusting God that God between now and March that God can open a stranger let me see your hands I want to pray for you the prophetic is very powerful and that includes those from several nations you've heard testimonies you can stand for your brother you can stand for your son you can stand for your daughter you can stand for your spouse I decree and declare I don't know who is trusting God for a job for you for your family or a change of job because some of you what you are doing is not really a job anything that steals your spiritual life destroys your health causes enemies and multiplies your sorrow is not from God therefore I decree between now and the next one month in the name that is above all names and by the power of prophecy from the east to the west the north to the south Nigeria and beyond may God give you a strange testimony may my God give you a strange testimony hallelujah hallelujah I feel stirred in my spirit to speak over the overflow outside the overflow outside please lift your hands I want to pray for you I'm praying for everybody everybody can tap but I just sense in my spirit to speak over the overflow outside outside media if you can help me let me speak over the overflow outside those outside I want you to lift your hands I don't know why God is asking me to speak Perhaps it is to connect with you to let you know that distance is no barrier. And it doesn't matter up basement, all the other overflows, you can connect by faith. But I'm speaking particularly to those outside. Lift your hands, those outside, I want to pray for you. And I want you to believe by the faith of the Son of the Living God that what God would do in your life will surprise you beyond your imagination. Father, in the name that is above all names. I pray for my people outside. Lift your hands and believe. This is not entertainment. Believe. Believe. The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. He said, believe in his prophets, so shall you prosper. I pray for you. Everything that will make you laugh and celebrate between the next two weeks, whatever it is, by all godly means, I declare, may it happen for you. Everything that will make you celebrate. Ah, Sarah said, all who hear this will rejoice with me. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Between now and the next two weeks, those outside, but it applies to everybody. Whatever God must do to make you laugh, I declare, may it happen speedily. Speedily. If it's a job, may it happen speedily. If it's your visa, may it happen speedily. If it's your house, may it happen speedily. The 
Bible says, despise not prophesyings. Despise not prophesyings. Still keep them. I'm speaking to them. I'm speaking to them. Why God is putting it in my heart to speak to them? I'm speaking to those outside. Sometimes God moves like this to comfort us. To help us see and know that distance is no barrier. Media, are you helping me? In the name that is above all names. The oil of favor. The oil of favor. That can come upon a man's head. That can come upon a man's hand. That can come upon his feet. And rewrite his story. I stretch my hands. First from outside. And then to all connecting. And to those connecting across the globe. In the name of Jesus. Listen. I tell you with all humility. And with every sense of regard to you and to God. I know what favor is. I know how it works. I have seen what the favor of God can do. This ministry is evidence that God's favor can rest upon a man. It is such as I have in the name of Jesus to those outside and whoever is tired of struggling, moving from pillar to post and things are not working. In ministry, in finances, I pray for you. Receive the oil of favor. 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 Everyone shout this after me. Say, Father, every curse, every enchantment, Every demonic arrangement orchestrated by men and by spirits against my life and my destiny. Let it be destroyed now. Open your mouth in one minute and pray. Every enchantment, every curse orchestrated against my life, against my advancement, against my health, against my prosperity by the blood of the eternal covenant be broken be broken be broken be broken in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the next one minute I want to pray father in the name of Jesus the son of the living God the one who died and resurrected in power and glory thank you for the power to heal the power to bring life even to the sick you gave us this noble instruction to heal the sick while we preach the kingdom and Lord in honor and obedience to that call I stretch my hands right now over your people spread across this auditorium and its environs outside the many who are following online and the many who will hear this i'm praying in the name of jesus that every spirit that is responsible for infirmity every spirit responsible for sickness diseases of any and all kinds by the power that raised Christ from the dead I cause the operation of those spirits from your body this moment in the name of Jesus right now I stretch my hands be healed shout a believing amen headaches be healed right now eye conditions be healed right now heart conditions be healed right now Blood conditions be healed right now. Bone conditions be healed right now. Organ failures. Let there be a brand new, a reproduction of new organs. In the name of Jesus. Respiratory problems be healed now. Tumors and cancers be caused now. Fibroids, we curse you now. Gastrointestinal problems, be healed now. Reproductory problems, be healed now. 
Urinary problems be healed now. Respiratory problems be healed now. Digestive problems be healed now. Neurological problems be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ, back pain be healed. Lumbar spondylosis be healed. Joint pains be healed. We change genotypes right now from SS to AA, from AS to AA. In the name of Jesus Christ, ear conditions be healed now. Every prolonged pain in your body be healed in the name of Jesus. Now, whether I mention your case or not, anyone appointed to death by sickness, those following from hospitals, clinics, everywhere, be healed right now. I stretch my hands and I declare, let the healing power of Jesus from this ground, through the airwaves, let it flow to you right now. I speak to someone, you shall not die. Your health will not deteriorate. It is cancer that will die. It is HIV that will die. It is tuberculosis that will die. It is pile that will die. In the name of Jesus, every mental health situation right here in Nigeria, across Europe, America, Canada, Asia, be healed right now. Autism, be healed right now. If you are here, you came with a wheelchair, you came with a crutch or some walking aid for your feet, your hands, I declare be healed right now. For every and any infirmity, here at this miracle service, we pronounce you healed. We pronounce you whole. We pronounce you perfected. In the name of Jesus. You will search for that pain and not find it again. You will search for that infirmity and not find it again. I declare restoration to your health. Now rise up, please stretch your hands towards this request. Stretch your hands, please, towards this request. Are there any requests yet to come? Please stretch your hands and begin to make faith declarations in one minute. These Egyptians I see today, I will see them no more forever. Someone full of faith is praying. In the name of Jesus, I'm going to bow my knees in one minute and lay my hands over these requests as a point of contact while you pray. Make faith declarations that in the name of Jesus Christ, this comes to an end. Every oppression. Go ahead. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare over you, bowing my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, that every testimony that needs to come out from this request, beginning from tonight, may you begin to hear them. Amen. Beginning from tonight, may you begin to receive them. Amen. Every human agent who must partner with prophecy to make for the manifestation of this request, I decree and declare, may the Lord raise them and bring them to you. Every death sentence here represented is cancelled. Every issue of debt, financial issues plaguing people, it comes to an end permanently. Whatever it is that you've written here as an expectation, 
that is consistent with the will of God. I release my faith with you even on this altar and I declare return rejoicing with your testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Prophetically, I stand upon this request and I decree and declare that these Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. No more forever. No more forever. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want you to lift your hands as I speak over you. Prophecy is the final or the second to the last atmosphere that is created for reception. Father, I decree and declare over your people, shame and reproach from this day comes to an end forever. Comes to an end forever. I decree and declare, wherever the helpers of your destiny are, whether they are in Abuja, in Lagos, in the north, the south, east, west, Europe, America, far west, wherever they are, between now and the end of the month, the month is not ended yet, I gravitate them towards your destiny. Every long-standing issue, you have prayed, you have fasted, it has refused to change. I release my faith with you and I declare this is the season of change for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord give you a new song. You will sing a new song. You will sing a new song. You will sing a new song. Sing a new song. For someone, God will take away sleep from your helpers like Ahasuerus and make them open the book of remembrance towards you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whoever must come into your life for your rising, wherever they are, may they come speedily. Everywhere your job is, may God locate you and take you there. Everywhere your finance is for this season. Can I pray against the spirit of debt and borrowing? In the name of Jesus, anyone who is in a financial situation now, I give you one month by prophecy. May the God of all grace bring you out of it now. Every family that has not risen, you have not seen the hand of God. The testimony of God helping men from your father to your mother to your siblings to you every one of you in concert receives strange testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus the gift that the Lord has put within you I stir it up by the anointing and I declare may it bring you profiting may it bring you profiting may it bring you profiting May it bring you profit in. What you have been looking for, I command it to start looking for you. Ah, 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 hear this one. What you have been looking for, may it start looking for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every confusion in your life, may the spirit of grace bring clarity to your life now. Everyone who is discouraged and downcast, you are wondering what will become of your life. I want to speak to you. In the name of Jesus, you will have the last laugh in this life. Anyone under the sound of my voice appointed unto death, I declare may death pass over you. May death pass over you. You are blessed in the city. You are blessed in the country. You are blessed in Abuja. Blessed in Lagos. Blessed in America, blessed in UK, all over Europe, all over Africa. Return as a sign and a wonder. Return as a testament of God's favor. In the name of Jesus. Let me take a minute and speak over all who have sown seeds giving standing with us i just felt stirred in my heart to do that people give the things that you see us do 
it is based on the givings the faithful givings of God's people and I just felt stirred tonight to pray over everyone who has given not just here in Nigeria but across the globe UK America Canada people have given for our meetings coming people have given even in the house people have sown into my life as a man of God I stretch my hands God is not a fraudster God is not a scammer he doesn't play games with people in the name that is above all names you have sown to this ground it is good ground therefore receive a hundredfold harvest therefore receive a hundredfold harvest a harvest of prosperity a harvest of wisdom a harvest of helpers a harvest of joy a harvest of help in the name of Jesus may you never do anything alone in your life God will raise people to stand with you to stand by you to stand for you in the name of Jesus quarter to shame may God raise help us for you now let me speak over your spiritual life everything attacking your prayer life attacking your word study life attacking your zeal and your passion for spiritual things it dies permanently right now may your prayer life be fanned back to flames may your word study life be fanned back to flames may your passion for the house of God be fanned back to flames may your appetite for spiritual things be fanned back to flames in the name of Jesus Christ Listen, I call you Beulah and Hephzibah. Beulah and Hephzibah. You are like a well-watered garden. I call you a wealthy place. An oasis springing possibilities. In the name of Jesus. You will not beg and you will not borrow. Yet you will not lack. In the name of Jesus. These hands that are lifted remain lifted forever. They will not go down. The Lord is your shepherd. He will guide you in paths of righteousness. He restores your soul. In the name of Jesus. Your enemies will not see your back. Your enemies will not see your face. Their plans will end as vanity. But as for you, the Lord is your lifter. He will lift your head. He will give you speed. No delay. No retrogression. Go forward, go forward, go forward, advance, progress in destiny. And I pray for you, the kind of honor and favor you have never seen this week. May God bring this as a witness to your life. Wave your hands to Jesus. Give him all the praise. Wave your hands to the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Now, I forgot to do this, but let me do this. I'm even yet to meet with them. I especially want to appreciate our team. They are part of the team organizing our conferences, some from UK, some from America. Just wave your hands in front here. Some of them arrived today. Give them a big God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hallelujah. Um, they are part of the team organizing a uh, Sound of Revival conference. I want to make an altar call right now. Please, I want you to just be patient for a minute. For as long as I live and God gives me this opportunity, I will never cease to give one person an opportunity to come to Jesus. Because God desires that all men be saved and then to come to the saving knowledge of the truth. You are in this place and all through this meeting the spirit of the living God began to nudge in your spirit that you need Jesus wherever you are I want you to leave your seat and I'm going to ask you to come and stand here whether you are rededicating your life to Jesus or you are saying apostle sincerely hearing you speak the spirit of God began to convict me and I can say with all certainty that I need Jesus don't wait for anyone to be the first wherever you are boldly leave your seat and come and stand right before me here let's honor them as they come there has to be someone 
who loves Jesus enough to heed to this call. If you are coming, come. Don't wait for anyone to come before you. Pick your bags, your Bibles, everything you came to church with and come to Jesus. All the overflows, you can move to your LED screens. Those outside do same. Those who are connecting from across the globe, here's your chance to make Jesus Lord of your life. Koinonia, keep clapping as they come. Every one of these beautiful people is, their price is the blood of Jesus that was shed on Calvary's tree. If you're coming, come quickly. You're still thinking about it. Here is a chance to make up your mind. Win that war once and for all. Apostle, I perceive that I'm a good person. I can't remember making any decision for Jesus, but I cannot say I'm a bad person. Your righteousness is unable to save you. This business of salvation is exclusively based on the finished work of the Son of the Living God. So you come. Come. You want to have the assurance of salvation? Join them. I need thee, oh, I need thee. Every hour I need thee. Come bless me now, my Savior. I come. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for this bold declaration. Thank you for making Jesus Lord of your life. May I request that you lift your right hand high above your head and please say this after me. Say it sincerely from your heart unto Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus. If you're joining them, please come quickly. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I declare that I love you with all my heart. I declare that you are the Son of of the living God I declare that you are my Savior you are my Lord and you are my King I believe that you died for my sin I believe that you rose again for my justification right now I receive your life into my spirit and I declare that I'm a child of God washed by the blood of the Lamb from tonight and forever, I am a child of God. I go forward ever and backward never. The power to live a victorious life is mine forever. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Father, thank you for these precious people. They have come declaring your lordship over their lives. And I declare based on the authority of God's word that your sins are forgiven. And the power to live a victorious Christian life is imparted upon you. I call you bona fide recipients of the life of God. I declare you to be the righteousness of God in Christ. And from today, you walk guilt-free in the name of Jesus. You go forward ever and backward never. Go from glory to glory. Experience the grace of God in all its dimensions. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name we pray. Amen and amen. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.